What's up you guys? Avery here. Wanted to bring you guys a video today talking about uh, everyone's local meta. This is actually something that I've been very curious about uh, and I also want to make another discussion video because the one that I posted yes yesterday actually went down very well, which I'm very surprised about. Um, I even got Jonathan Moore to comment on the video, which is quite interesting. I guess it's because of the fact I posted it in Zodiac, and he saw the title of the video and decided to comment on it. Um, quick note I want to make about that video. Um, something that I forgot to mention in that video that I really wish I would have touched more on, because I think that this is primarily where, um, I guess for lack of a better example, Jonathan was kind of... Um, not getting his facts mixed up, but I guess not completely understanding where I was coming from. Not throwing shade on the guy, I'm just saying. Um, but, like, okay, so we were going back and forth in the comments, and I said to him, uh, basically one of the things that is a problem with Yu-Gi-Oh! is that Konami will up the rarity. So Ghost Ash, for example, not saying that it is, but it might be a common in the OCG. I don't know if it is. And then they're going to make it a secret here in the TCG, which has already been confirmed. And he's like, Ghost Ash is also expensive there. And I asked him, relative to America, though, how expensive is it? It might only be $20 over there, but over here it's 60 to 70 So, you know, you can say it's expensive over there, but if it's only $20, then it's not all that much. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out, too, was that um, something that Fiano Black had also said in his video was that you don't really feel like you're accomplished whenever you buy Yu-Gi-Oh! product. Like, you don't feel like you got your money's worth. Even if you pull crappy, you don't feel like you got your money's worth. And he ate, he gave the example of Pokemon, where, you know, you buy product and you might pull bad, but you still feel like you got your money's worth. Here in Yu-Gi-Oh!, you spend $20 on packs, and you pull crap, you don't feel like you got your money's worth. So... That was just something else that I wish I would have touched on more in the video, but that is another example that I want to bring up here in this video. So, let's go ahead and dive into this. So, your local meta. Leave me a comment and let me know what it's like, and while you're at it, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you've not already. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Um, but my local meta. Let's go ahead and get into this here. So, I have like four or five locals that uh, I can potentially go to, and I go to, I think three of them sometimes. I go to Dan Sports Cards and Games uh, in on Blanding Boulevard in Jacksonville. If you're in the if you're in Florida or the Jacksonville, Florida area, then you know what I'm talking about. Shout out to all my Jacksonville players. <laughs> um, but I go to Dan Sports Cards and Games in Jacksonville, Florida, which is filled with either scrubby to I'm gonna say somewhat competitive players. Like players that know what they're doing and then you have people that are just scrubs that go like every week to locals but don't really get any better like there's no in between it's either they're pretty good and they really know what they're doing or they're just kinda of scrubby in my opinion and this is not a video I'm trying to make like to uh, throw shade on people at locals you know this is just kind of like the general consensus among my Jacksonville Yu-Gi-Oh community of what the meta is like and from what I've observed from going to these locals. Uh, then you also have Urban Anthropology, which used to be called Wizards. Everyone just refers it to Wizards. Um, but Urban Anthropology, it's called that because the owner used to have a store down the road in St. Augustine, Florida, which was called Wizards. Then whenever he changed to the other location, he called it Urban Anthropology. So he's at like the St. Augustine Movie Theater or whatever. And that meta is, unless like there's other players from Cool Stuff Games, which is the other locals I go to, uh, on Beach Boulevard in Jacksonville, Florida, uh, unless those players are there, it's pretty much a scrub fest. Like both at at Dan Sports Cards and Games and Urban Anthropology, there really is no meta decks. Like, I think last time I went to Game Room, my buddy was playing Spirals, and he really knows what he's doing, whereas everybody else was kind of just playing whatever, and then there was one guy in the room playing Infernoid. This was back when Lawn Mowing just came out, so yeah. And then at Urban Anthropology, unless, like, me and some of my buddies go, and I meet up with them there or whatever, there's not really a meta. Like, there's... <laughs> There's really no good players there. Like, it's a good place to go and play test, or if you want to smack some people around, if you know that you have a good deck, like, say, Zodiac or 60 Card Infernoid, and you know you're just going to just blow away the competition. Uh, and then there's cool stuff games where everybody's playing meta, everybody knows what they're doing for the most part. Um, like, I would say 99% of the players there uh, know what they're doing. 
go to big regionals and YCSs and all that. Um, I mean, they're, they're, they're like me. They're a competitive player. I mean, the 1% that aren't competitive there are either making buy lists or they're just like playing for fun on the side. They're not really hoping to do good. The majority of players that enter in the tournament from what I've seen the few times that I've gone there have been very competitive, very good players that you can get a lot of insight from. Um, there are other places like Jack's Game Center. I went there once. The meta was really... I guess kind of the same as cool stuff, but not as big of a turnout. There's also Big Daddy Games in St. Augustine, Florida, and their prize support is god awful. And it's it's like urban anthropology. There's nothing but scrubbing, mix scrub, scrub, scrubs, just scrubbing the floors, <laughs> um, for the most part. Again, no offense to anybody that actually goes to these locals or watches these videos. This is just from a competitive player standpoint. Um, because I do have a friend that goes to Big Daddy Games, and I don't want to think I'm calling him out as a scrub, which he just quit the game anyway, so <laughs> go figure. Um, but their prize support is just god-awful. The best place for prize support out of these three locals that I've gone to that I've seen is Cool Stuff Games. Uh, you know, you they have box tournaments where you come in first place, you get a box. Uh, even the regular tournaments, you get... Um, I think packs, you get the OTS packs for anything, and then you get packs of the latest set for uh, winning or topping or whatever. Urban Anthropology also has pretty good prize support. Uh, you don't get any packs for entering, but you get packs if you top or win or whatever. Um, and people are usually pretty chill about splitting. Um, Dan Sports Cards and Games is last place for their uh, prize support. Their prize support's really bad. You get a pack if uh, you enter, and then I think like another pack if you win. Like it's really nothing all that good. Um, so I would say out of these locals that um, I have gone to, I would say that Cool Stuff Games is the best. And actually, I'm going to pull up a list of my locals where I live in uh, Florida. These are just in my local area. So, because we have like our own Jacksonville, Florida, Yu-Gi-Oh! community page. This is um, our locals here. Uh, this is like the whole list. I'm just going to read it off to you guys on Sundays. Uh, Jacksonville Game Center. Sundays, uh, NFLGS, which stands for Northside Friendly Local Game Store. Uh, and then Mondays, we have Jack's Game Center. There's no tournaments on Tuesdays. Wednesday, cool stuff. Thursday is a place called Java Game Hoss. I've never been there before. Friday's back at Cool Stuff. And Saturday's is uh, Dan's uh, Card Shop, which is Dan's Sports Cards and Games. Uh, cool Stuff is sanctioned. Jacksonville Game Center is not sanctioned. Dan's Sports Cards and Games is sanctioned. Northside Friendly Local Game Store is not section, uh, not sanctioned, and Java Game Hoss, they do not have it here, whether it's sanctioned or not, so I'm going to assume that it's non-sanctioned. So you have two stores out of my whole area that are sanctioned, and the rest are non-sanctioned. Um, but I, I really do enjoy Cool Stuff, I would say, the most for their competitive side of things. I think that it is... Um, probably the best if you want to go somewhere just to smack some people around uh, just to kind of you know make friends and you know chill and trade and whatever I'd say go to Big Daddy Games or Urban Anthropology uh, maybe even uh, Dan Sports Cards and Games um, but like if you if you want to go for like that hardcore competition definitely go to Cool Stuff Games um, because it, it just offers you the best competition like there's nothing wrong with um, you know, being a casual and just going to locals every week. I'm, I'm not trying to say that that's a bad thing in this video. I'm simply saying that the majority of players that I hang around, which is mostly competitive, this is, I mean, granted, this is my personal opinion, yes, but if you were to ask any of them, they would pretty much tell you the same thing. So, you know, don't get offended or butthurt in the comments if, like, you know, you say, oh, I know what locals you're talking about, I go here, and I'm, I'm not a scrub, screw you, blah, 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 blah. Um, or if you know that you're a scrub, I'm not trying to, like, rub it in your face. Because I've only topped one regional, and I've been playing this game since 2008, so I know for a fact I'm not one of the best players. But I also don't want to waste my life on this game. I want to have a life and date girls and all this other fun stuff. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. Again, be sure to smash that like button if you guys want more discussion videos. Um... Let me know what your meta is like, and let me know what your locals are like. How many locals do you have? You have one that's like an hour away, and that's the only one you can go to, and the locals isn't all that good. Let me know, because I, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who has this many locals. Like, I, I'm sure I'm one of the very few that has this many choices of locals to go to on this many days of the week. So, let me know what you guys have in the comments below. I'm really interested to see what everyone's meta is like. Or maybe you just don't go to locals at all. Maybe you stop going to your locals or maybe you don't have a locals. Let me know all that and more in the comments below. Guys, thank you so much for watching and subscribe if you have not already.